everyone, so welcome to my channel. I wanted to do something a little different in this video. So I wanted to kind of talk about what I bought during quarantine. So as you can see, these are all the sneakers that I got during quarantine. But I will say these are all of the retro ones because I did buy more sneakers. But I figure if you are a sneakerhead or a Jordan fan, then this video will definitely be for you. As you can see, there are different colors, um, same style, but you know, these are my Jordan favorites that I like so far. And so I just wanna make a disclaimer, I am not um, a collector. It is a small retro one collection because honestly, this is all that I own. So without further ado, we're just gonna get straight into the video. So the first shoe that I wanna talk about today is my all time favorite, the Pine Green 2.0s. So these are my absolute favorite shoes. So <laughs> I will start off saying that they came out in February of this year and I failed to get them during the launch. So of course I got them from Request Boutique in Charlotte, North Carolina. So I paid 300 for these. Yes, $300 because I will say, if you are not lucky enough to get a shoe when it first launches on the sneaker app, you are going to pay an arm and a leg. Now I will say they were worth it. Um, they do come with red shoe strings, which I did take the red shoe strings from these and kind of put them in those but we'll get to those shoes momentarily so yes what i love about them is the detail so it's got the black and green leather the bottom of the shoe is green and of course i love the rim is white these sneakers they have the red detail so it's got the air jordan logo right here um these sneakers normally retail I believe they were on the sneakers app for 175. Now you can find them on GOAT. You can still find them on Light Club, if I'm not mistaken. And I will tell you, if you wear a smaller size, I ended up getting a eight in men's because I do have a rather large foot. So I will say um, the smaller the size, of course, the higher the price, but the larger the size, the cheaper the price, that's the weirdest thing, but I guess the common size for some women and men is an eight, so yeah. And I they run true to size. So yeah, these are my favorites. And so we are going to get into the next shoe. Okay, so the shoe that I wanna talk about the most now, yes, I said the pine green are my favorite, but this shoe, I literally have seen the shoe on Instagram every time i turned around it was just like boom 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 like that's all i saw and i i wanted this shoe so bad like i was dreaming about it so it is the unc to chicago i could not find the shoe everywhere but i did look up and i found it on flight club and i paid 250 so 250 dollars i paid for the unc to chicago's oh, what can i not say about this shoe so red is my favorite color. So of course, the fact that the toe part is red sold me, but the blue Nike check and the back of the shoe being blue, I don't know about you guys, but this shoe reminds me of like one of those summertime bomb pops that you used to get, like the icicle. I used to have those all the time as a little girl, so I don't know, just reminds me of that. But um, so yeah, the bottom of the shoe is red the air jordan symbol of course is black the inside of the shoe is blue and it has the black nike air logo i did get these shoes in a size nine and a half women's which would equate to i believe an eight in men's so yeah i got these shoes off of flight cub now i did cut the tag that came with it but um it was the authentic Flight Club um, tag. So I will say I've heard some stories about some people have gotten shoes off Flight Club and they were not real. 
Um, so it's kind of one of these things that you got to take your chances. Um, I mean, I don't really know. I know I paid two fifty for them. I trust that they're real, but you know, like I said, you got to take your chances. But yeah, these are indeed my favorite. So yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, you can still find them on Flight Club, GOAT. They're also available on StockX, I believe, but I've never shopped that website. So I don't really, I don't know. Not that I don't trust it, just haven't been on it. All right, guys. So another shoe that I want to talk about today is the Gem Red, White, and Black. Um, these shoes are just like super gorgeous. I've only worn them about one or two times but oh my gosh the fact that there is the clear plastic nike symbol in red and then when you flip it over it is yellow and then the bottom is like this jelly um clear material it sold me like oh my gosh these shoes are just to die for and they go with so many things like even my goon shirt like I could wear these with this specific shoe or I could wear it with the pine green. So yeah, what I like about this shoe, of course, it's got the top part is the white leather. It's got the black leather trim around the front, the black Nike um, Air Jordan logo. On the inside of the shoe is all black with the white Jordan logo. These shoes were women's um, nine and a half. Now I paid... I believe okay guys so the price that I paid for these particular shoes was $115 these damn shoes sell out so fast you better jump on it because guarantee they're not gonna be there long so I was able to get them and another cute detail that I like is the red in the shoe strings that is super super duper cute so you can actually switch these out um, and put red shoestrings in them, yellow shoestrings, or even possibly green, and it still would look like bomb.com. So yeah, I love these shoes. Um, I like the satiny kind of print on the, um, the tongue of the shoe. So yeah, definitely, if you can find them, you'll probably find them at a really good deal right now. But uh, yeah, definitely would recommend these. So the next ones that I want to talk about is the light bulb. So, oh my gosh. If you are into bright colors, this shoe is for you. This shoe is for you. Um, it is super, super cute. It can be paired with, oh my gosh, like a pair of black tights, a white shirt, jean jacket, or you can do a little skirt. Um, they're just super fin super feminine and chic um i'll tell you what i like about them is the mixture of materials so of course here you've got this suede material and i believe this is suede too but it's very very textured um and then you've got the plastic right here or patent leather and then you've got the patent leather nike logo this shoe has so many colors in it. Oh my gosh, from purple, orange, blue, red. It's just like every single color in a daggone rainbow with the exception of pink. I like the fact that the tongue is like this really pretty light yellow and that sticks out in itself. Um, but it's like toned down. Yeah, so I don't even know where the second set of shoestrings are that come with this. So it doesn't really matter because I didn't like them. I would keep the black um, shoestrings in, or I would actually switch it to one of, uh, one of the other colors that's in here. Now, what did throw me off is because the box is white, which is very different from the other boxes that it normally comes in. So I just was like, okay. But again, I am not um, a Jordan, collector i will say like that so i just started my collection you won't see me going hard in the paint hashtag sneakerhead 
because I feel like I don't want to take that title from some of the other people who've been collecting Jordans since they were like in middle school, high school. But I am just now getting into them. And of course, like I love this style. This style works for me. Some of the other Jordans are really cute, but I just really like this style. So yeah, but these are the light bulb and they're super cute. You can still find them on, I believe, you can get them on Flight Club, you can get them on GOAT, if I'm not mistaken. You might can even still get them on footlocker.com. But yeah, love them, love them, recommend them. All right guys, so the last shoes that I want to talk about, oh my gosh, they are so cute. They are very festive, they go with pretty much anything because black just, you can dress black up in so many different ways. You can wear this with a nice pair of black tights. You can wear it with a cami and a blazer, um, a nice pair of shades and a cute little bag and it still looks like very dressy. So that's the one thing I like about the shoe. These are the black retro OGs. I paid about 170 for these. They do come with the black laces, but as I showed you earlier, I did take the red laces from the pine green and I did this little design, so I thought it was cute. But as you can see in this part of the video, I got a little irritated because my neighbors are mad loud while I was recording. I'll wait. So the one thing that I really like about these shoes is the, of course, the def different textures again. So you've got the leather trim around the side and this part is, I want to say the material is nylon, but it has this very slick, silky feel to it. I like the black on black um, color because of course it's like almost like a deep dark gunmetal color but then of course there is the red air jordan symbol the inside of the shoe is black um and of course the trim around the bottom is going to be white and then the bottom shoe part is black so yeah this shoe is super cute definitely recommend it and you know there are some others that I haven't been fortunate to get my hands on because I do want the top threes, but they are $1,000 in my size and baby girl ain't got no money for that right now. So we gonna save up and then we might get them, but not right now. So I started my collection back in May and I will say that it is definitely growing. Um, two of my favorite shoes to wear so far are the Retro Ones and Doc Martens. I am just like, that is just my style. So yeah, um, if you want me to show you my Doc Martin collection, I definitely can. That will be a video for another day. But you guys, I just wanted to show you my favorite style um, and what I have so far. Again, the collection will be growing, but as of right now, this is what I have. So I wanna thank you all for um, stopping by, tuning in, thugging it out with me. I thank you guys so much, and I will definitely see you in my next video. All right, guys, and before you leave, don't forget to thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Later.